Hello friends, welcome back again. Uh, in this video, uh, what I wanted to cover was um, a simple case of an L bracket which is loaded uh, with a load going up on the vertical part of the bracket. And uh, I wanted to discuss what is commonly known as prying effect or a heel toe effect. Uh, what happens in, in this situation is that, uh, let me go to the, to the sketch uh, mode real quick here and uh, you'll see that I have already drawn a, uh, a basic bracket here and these are the fastener holes here and here and then uh, let's say we have a load that's uh, going up uh, like that, okay? So let's say we have a load like that um, which looks of P okay P Z let's say all right now now that we have a load P Z this load is transmitted uh, through this vertical part of the bracket uh, and then there would be uh, a moment applied in this area uh, but then at the end the load goes in into this fastener which is going to react this load uh, and then that reaction would be in this direction okay so the fastener would react this load down now this load here can be represented by R F T okay let's just say that this is RFT fastener okay now this portion here is going to experience a load as well because this is creating a moment okay this load up here about the axis of the fastener is creating a moment overturning moment now if there's something underneath here then there's going to be pressure applied under here and usually that variation uh, looks something like that okay something like that which which is like a like a triangular distribution a right angle triangle and the maximum being on the outermost edge and then you have a distributed load up here like that. This is basically a reaction load actually. So I would say it's kind of like that. So now we have a reaction load uh, uh, which is about there and then I would say this distance if this is let's say X alright then this here would be one-third of the total X and this here will be two-thirds of the total X so this here from the fastener axis would be two-third of X okay and this here would be one-third of X okay so now this here can be represented as R H T alright that is called the heel toe reaction now this is also reaction load so it's kinda of like that now when we do the basic force balance and uh, this is a free body diagram this is called a free body free body diagram FBD of this angle bracket so there's a load applied and you have an opposite reaction load you also have a prying load due to this overturning moment which is also a reaction so at the end what happens is this reaction goes up because this has to equal the summation of this and this so there we have it we have a a force balance all right so we have R F T equals P Z plus then you have R right heel toe all right now we don't know what R heel toe is yet right now this is RFT which we will use at the end to determine what RFT is once we find out what R heel toe is but how do we find the R heel toe that's where the moment balance comes in so now we'll do a moment balance 
so now we have let's say this here is let's say this is y okay so what we have if when we do a moment balance about the axis of the fastener which is right there when we do that we have p z times y okay now this has to equal the RHT which is the reaction due to heel toe times the distance from RHT which is two-thirds X from the center of the fasana so this would be two-thirds times X okay so therefore we have R H T equals P Z times three divided by two times in fact this there's a Y here as well. So we have two times X. So that's what your R H T is. Alright, so this is two and this here is one. So now we put two into one okay so therefore R F T is P Z times one plus right then you have um, P Z is common in in P Z and P Z and R H T so we have one plus take out P Z and you have three Y divided by 2x okay so that's basically what your fastener reaction would be this is mainly because of the prying effect so I wanted to create the simple video to demonstrate uh, how we do free body diagrams in the uh, stress engineering field this is just a very simple example but this is how we have to um, divide up all the loads and reactions and make sure that it makes sense make sure that the body by itself with the loads is balanced by the reactions and the and the reaction moments and the moments are balanced by the reaction moments so that's what a free body diagram is all about and it, it gives you a sense of um, how the um, engineering analysis is done by hand calculations on a something like that on some, something simple like this it's not a big deal uh, it's kind of easy to do but once you get more complicated then we get into more complicated analyses using uh, finite element methods or maybe uh, some more assumptions uh, to be conservative for example and so on and so forth it depends on the situation it depends on how much room you have to play with in terms of the margin of safety of that part. Uh, what is the material? What kind of allowables do you have? And so on and so forth. But this is a flagship example uh, of hand calculations on a simple bracket, uh, which is typically used for demonstrating what is called a free body diagram. So there you go, folks. Uh, I hope you find this useful. And uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, I'm making this really uh, just to go on YouTube and uh, I hope you like it I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know what else you want to know what else you want to learn uh, and then hopefully I can create more useful videos for you until then have fun and we'll see you later